so we have seen that we can add any created element using react dom into the dom what if i want to add another h1 tag or and let's say inside h1 tag i want to have a span tag how we can add that so i'm going to create one more span tag so i will say let uh, inner span is just a name i want to give and i'm going to use react dot create element and i'm going to create a span tag and having I, I just want to have a third argument as a children so this time i want to move this everything inside this span tag and this h1 doesn't have any children like this so h1 doesn't have any text as a children so instead of text i want to give children as inner span so in the last episode we saw that how we can add any children as a prop and that children was just a text called react by bit films but now we are doing something different we are actually moving some created element inside another element using as a children prop also you can provide it as a third one and we will just see later first let's try this so refresh it's very very similar but now you can see this h1 is holding another tag or another element called span and that span is actually having this is react by bitfumes okay and as i told you you can also provide this as a third argument because passing prop children is actually same as passing the third argument so i can say inner span and this will going to work exactly the same one more thing now let's try to log element this time because this time this h1 tag we have created doesn't have a simple um, text as a prop although it has a simple created element by react and the name is uh, or the type is a span let's try to refresh okay so we have some type of h1 but then inside this props inside we have a children and this children actually having again a object for the react element so see any react element start with dollar dollar type of symbol react dot element it is start with this in a prop children we again have a dollar dollar type of symbol react dot element and that we know because we have created two react element and one the inner span is moved inside the h1 so in this way you can add any number of children for any number of created element like we can also move something inside the span as a children but now i just want to say that if we have a structure like we have a uh, let's say section that means a html section inside this section we want to have some let's say div so we have a div inside this div we have uh, some h1 like this inside this h1 we have a span like this so what if you want to create this kind of structure using react.create element so see we need to first create a element called section then div then h1 then span and now our code is become very difficult to manage by just having h1 and span you can see we need to use two line and these two lines are looking very ugly and have lots and lots of things i don't like these things so that's why react provide a very very nice thing and that is called jsx and what is jsx jsx is simple html inside javascript okay what it is let's say i'm going to create an uh, let's say my element so my el and that i'm going to say is a simple div 
inside this div i'm going to say hello jsx and let's close this div okay so this is done now instead of i'm just going to comment these things and instead of rendering this element i'm going to render this my element so m y e l let's see what's going to happen if i refresh this page we have an unexpected token why is that hmm, maybe uh, this need some double quotes or maybe single quotes like we need to have this as a string let's see if i refresh this page you can see it is literally rendered as a string not as a html div tag how we can resolve these things because if i use double quotes or single quotes it's rendered as a string if i if i'm not using any single quote or double quote it says unexpected token angle okay so the problem is you can see we are having this div actually inside of this script not inside the body we have a script that means we are having a javascript world and inside the javascript world we are using html which is normally not applicable so how we can actually render this thing you know jsx is an advanced feature of javascript or actually a pseudo feature of javascript and whenever you are dealing with something advanced feature or something which is normally not available in vanilla javascript we need some kind of help some kind of help to convert all these things which are advanced in javascript to the normal vanilla javascript in that case babel is going to help us once again let's go to the documentation and in this documentation on the same page of add react to website if you scroll down you can see we have a try react with jsx and in this it is saying that you need to add this script tag okay so let's add this script tag just after this script or anywhere inside your head tag okay so what babel will do or what is actually babel so babel is a simple tool that is going to check if you are using something advanced feature of javascript then it is going to convert that into a vanilla javascript or actually in a form that your browser can understand so when i use that if i refresh this still we are having unexpected token we have added the babel but what's the point but next is once again let's go to the documentation it says you need to say to this script tag that hey script tag this is actually a type of text and babel okay so now we need to say a type which is text as babel now we are saying to babel that hey babel this script tag is for you and you can take care of any advanced feature i'm going to use inside this script tag only because i have added the type text babel now if i go if i refresh this page and you can see that is actually converted into a div tag real div tag so inside this div with the id of root we have this div hello jsx wow this is very nice this is very very nice when you are having very high tree of all these tags so now i can say i have a h1 tag inside this h1 we have a span tag and we are having all these things and you can see because we are having babel my vs code is actually recommending all these uh, html tags and when i hit enter it's just auto complete that and this is because of babel because of all these things now we can refresh this page and we have every hierarchy of this html tags div once again div h1 tag then we have a span with a text of hello jsx and everything is working absolutely fine but what magic this jsx or this babel sprinkle over 
react to make it so useful and so elegant that we can actually use HTML inside JavaScript.